Who are you? It's Beer Drink with another craft beer review. I had to do one immediately after that Victory Brewing Company monkey shit blonde ale. Had to get that disgusting taste out of my out of my mouth situation. You know what I'm saying? It was Vic, Victory Brewing Company. It was anything. It was anything but a victory. Anyhow, and it was, it's the it, it was anything but a victory. Monkey, sh oh god, fuck it. Anyway, first off, I like to shout out Southern Craft Beer Magazine. When they came out to Atlanta, they brought me down a few beers that I couldn't get to, being living in Georgia from Nashville, Tennessee. Fat Bottom Brewing Company, Icebreaker Coffee Porter. That. Mm. Hey, this is a thumbnail. Hey, this is a thumbnail. Hey, this this is a thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. Anyway, this just is what it is. It's a icebreaker coffee porter. Pretty simple, huh? The only thing that I will say about Fat Bottom and all the other beers that they brought me is that none of their bottles or cans had the alcohol by volume on the can or bottle. Cause I mean, who wants to pull out their phone? Hey Siri, uh, what's the al what's the alcohol? Hey Siri, what's the alcohol by volume on the icebreaker coffee porter? And it told me 4.2. Come on, guys, y'all could y'all put. The Put the ABV on the candy bear at least. But anyhow, it is what it is. It's all about what's inside the beer. I know it's 4.2 because I had to do the research. But you know what? What's wrong with doing research? You do research every day when you go on the Pornhub. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get this crack. I already know it's going to be definitely dark. I'm not a huge fan of the dark. Ooh, yeah. It's definitely dark. Can't even see through the glass. <sighs> definitely like a Colombian dark roast coffee. Bean persuasion in this beer. I'm not a huge fan of the porter, but I am a huge fan of the coffees. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and a little roasted malt. You kind of expect a roasted malt for a, you know, coffee porter, but we're gonna go ahead and get to it. The mouthfeel on this dark ass beer <clears throat> is a very light mouthfeel, not thick at all. Stop with the fucking us. Definitely tastes very carbonated as it goes down the throat almost like a fucking Sprite. Battery fucking die. So sometimes in life batteries die. This is a good life lesson for you all that haven't come across, but you have, you've definitely come across this before. In life, your battery will die. You always gotta have extra batteries if you're doing video and shit, or photos. And another thing with that, always invest native batteries, okay? I made the mistake and got some bullshit batteries a while ago, but I threw them bitches out the window, literally, and invested in Sony batteries. So now I have like eight extra Sony batteries and the original Sony battery from the camera. But um <laughs> yeah, when life throws when not when life when life throws the energy out of the batteries, just get some sleep and go back again for another for and I'll, and I'll never give up. But back to this porter, definitely get the roasted malt. Very coffee esque as it is a coffee porter. Very strong coffee, almost like a straight up uh. it, it tastes like a cold brew coffee. Black cold brew coffee no cream added definitely good taste in porter i'm like i said i'm not a fan of the porter definitely getting that nasty victory brewing company bullshit taste out of my mouth so i'm happy about that after this i'll probably go smoke a cigarette Shame. Shame. and jump my ass in the shower because it's about 3 50 in the morning yeah this is one of the better porters, but the only the only gripe that I have about the fact that it doesn't have the alcohol by volume on the can, look the shit up, lazy nigga, and the fact that the alcohol by volume is so low at 4.2. For something like this, you want the alcohol by volume to be 7. 7 and up, you know what I'm saying, for a nice little stouty wout, but definitely a delicious taste in beer. <clears throat> I'm going to save the best for last, but I'm pretty sure the best that is that I'm saving for last won't be my favorite because it's a barrel-aged you know what? I, I'll be better off showing you. Fat Bottom Brewing Company. The the ten, what what? Okay. Anyway, it's the Baroness. The Baroness. Stout aged in bourbon barrels. <laughs> and apparently, this one was bottled in 2018. Holy shit! The one thing about stouts, not like an IPA to where you need to get it definitely fresh. And and in there, these beers can actually be aged. So this right here is one that I'm somewhat looking forward to, but somewhat not looking too forward to, not looking forward to for the fact that it's bourbon, aged in bourbon barrels. And I'm not a fan of bourbon barrel aged beer, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out probably, I'm thinking maybe Friday. I may even review it with someone because that beer is way too big for me to drink the whole damn thing. I looked it up and I believe it was around 8.4 alcohol by volume. So this one should, so this one should be a fun one to drink. 
But this isn't about this one. This is about the Icebreaker Coffee Stout. On a scale of zero to five, this Icebreaker Coffee Stout, I'm gonna definitely give it a four and a half because it is a delicious, tasty beer. Like I said, the only gripes that I really had about it were not important. The fact that it didn't have the ABV on the can and the fact that the alcohol by volume is 4.2, but sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about getting high. It's not all about getting high, Larry. Stop. Yeah, every time I see you, you're high, Larry. But it is what it ain't was gonna be. That was another craft beer review for you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Get the fuck out of here.